All right, uh, hey guys, thanks. This is Jeff at Ferrari FXS. Uh, we're gonna do the brake uh, fluid change on this and bleeding procedure on this 360. So um, first you gotta get access to the front area here and then uh, remove the panel here, which has got three screws, which I've already removed. And then uh, remove your little reservoir cap here. And then uh, we're gonna actually use um, a different procedure today. We're gonna use this uh, pump that we've had. I don't, we've never used this tool, so it's gonna be an experiment. So basically, you would fill this reservoir with fluid and then attach it to the brake reservoir here. You would put this cap on there and then uh, you would connect this to the cap and then this would actually keep positive pressure on your system and hopefully you have enough fluid in here that you do not deplete the system. So basically it keeps you from going back and forth, back and forth to watch your quantity. So we're gonna try this, we'll see how it works. You may wanna do it, you may not wanna do it, you may wanna do it the old way. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. <laughs> Cause this, like I said, this is the first time we've used this tool. So uh, we're gonna see how it works. All right, uh, we've put two of these jugs in, it's dot synthetic, Valvoline synthetic dot three dot four brake fluid. And they normally recommend if you jab one or the other, the dot four. This, looks, this is fine. Um, I poured two jugs in here and uh, I've secured the cap over here on the reservoir and then you're going to take this as a good quick disconnect you're just going to push it on there until it locks make sure it's tight because you don't want this stuff going anywhere it'll eat the paint I've got some rags and stuff around in here uh, and then we're going to pump this up to about 15 psi here no more than that. I mean, you always want to start lower than higher because you can do some damage if you go too high. And then, uh, so we've got, before we do that, I'm going to show you the, uh, what we have over here. Let me uh, go on the side here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start on the farthest brake assembly first. So we've got our two lines, one from each brake caliper here in the uh, glass jar here. We've got two jars. Normally, the old way you would, uh, with your center jar here, you would have fluid in it. So if you suck fluid back in at one point, you're not gonna be sucking air, you're gonna be sucking fluid. That's why there's two jars here. So normally you would put fluid in a second jar and then, uh, then if it overflows, the bigger jar is gonna catch the extra fluid. So uh, at this point, we haven't cracked this open. We're doing this new system, so technically we don't need that fluid in there. So we're gonna pressurize it and then just crack these and we should get fluid out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, reconnect that, pressurize it to 15 PSI, and then uh, start our bleeding procedure. And we are doing one caliper at a time, the inner, outer versus inner. So we'll do outer first, inner next. Yeah, so let me, uh, like I said, connect this. I'm gonna put approximately 15 PSI in here. Uh, kind of like messed around with this little pump for a while. And uh, we've got the quick disconnect hooked up and we're at 15 PSI right here on the gauge. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think so. So uh, at this point, there's fluid in the line here. We should be able to crack the bleeders on each brake caliper and we should be able to see fluid coming out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that right now and uh, see if that's the case. But uh, I need to get a wrench. All right, so we've got about 15 PSI up there. I've actually cracked these loose. They're, they're tight, but uh, you can see we've got fluid start, starting to move here. So you can see the fluid, it's moving down the tube here. So, I mean, we can do one at a time, I mean, you just have to do both. Uh, you don't have to do both at the same time, you just have to do both calipers. So you can do one at a time. So, you can see the fluid, it's moving here. We'll probably have to keep that other person pumping. So, we're going to have to probably 
not film this, but I just kind of wanted to show you because it's going to take two of us to keep the system pressurized and the fluid going. But I just kind of wanted to see or show you guys what's happening here. So we're going to pause it and we're going to start bleeding this, okay? All right, we've uh, finished bleeding this brake here. Um, we did one at each side because you don't want to open these both at the same time because if you open both, it takes the path of the least resistance. So if you had more resistance on this side, uh, the fluid's only going to flow on this side. So that's why you want to do these individually. I know I had both hoses hooked up at the same time, but we alternated back and forth when we did this. And uh, we've got some fluid out there. It looked pretty clean. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the other side. Like I said, you want to do the furthest wheels first. So we're going to go ahead and put this wheel back on and go to the other rear wheel. And we're not going to show them. I mean, just repeat of everyone's going to be the same. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do the other rear wheel and then uh, continue on. And then we're going to... We'll that. summarize at the end. Yeah, we'll summarize at the end. All right? All right, uh, like I said, we've completed the uh, brake bleeding process on this 2003 Ferrari 360. Uh, we did all four wheels. Like I said, you want to start at the furthest brake. So we did the two rears, and then we went to the right front, and then we finished on the left front. Uh, like I said, there's two bleeders on each side, inboard, outboard. It doesn't matter which one you do. It's just you probably want to do one at a time because if you have them both open, you're only going to bleed the path of least resistance. So that's why you want to do one at a time because you're going to force fluid for both of them for sure if you do it that way. Uh, like I said, we've used our tool earlier. We kind of showed that. We got it working. It kept a positive pressure on the reservoir. So we were, as long as you keep fluid in the reservoir of that tool, you, will do not, you won't deplete the reservoir in your car. So um, that's the thing you don't want to do. You don't want to get air in the system. So um, we did that. We bled all four of them. We've uh, checked it out. All the, the brake pedal is pretty solid right now. So all we really need to do is put this back together and take it for a test drive. But at this point, we are done. So uh, you just want to make sure that your fluid in here is between the two lines on the side here. You can see there's a full here. And it's right, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's hard to see, but it's, it's closer to the max, a little bit underneath the max. So anyway, we're good there. We can put that cover back on. Like I said, all we have to do is basically test drive. So at this point, this should conclude the uh, brake service on this Ferrari 360. Hey, thanks for following. Keep and, subscribing. Yes, and uh, we'll keep on making more one way or another. Hey. Thank you.